Welcome back everyone to another video. Here I'm going to talk about the properties of this beautiful dark blue and white stone known as sodalite. At a first glance, one who's not too familiar with crystals would think this looks just like lapis lazuli. While they appear similar, sodalite works more differently. Whereas lapis ignites the intellect in theoretical reasoning, sodalite works on a practical level. Sodalite works to enhance one's oral communication skills, patience, and intuition. In terms of appearance, sodalite doesn't have traces of pyrite that's more abundant in lapis, and the shade of blue in sodalite is deeper, like that of indigo. Nevertheless, the importance of its qualities can't be ignored. Sodalite is a must for anyone willing to develop their psychic power. Similarly to Lapis, I find this stone doesn't provide me with vivid imagery. Since it's one of communication, my guides verbally suggest what is best for my well-being. Whenever it's in my pouch, Sodalite helps me to speak the truth. This allows me to stand up for what's right and express with the utmost conviction what I believe in. The mental stability it provides is ideal for tarot readers and astrologers who must deliver readings to their clients with accuracy and confidence. Its calming effect enables trust among peers and the self. It encourages self-acceptance and self-esteem. As a communication stone, sodalite is associated with the throat chakra. In addition to the aforementioned benefits, negotiation skills are improved. So when you need to strike a deal with a client who's challenging what price you're asking for, this stone gives common ground. Hence, sodalite helps parties to reach mutual understanding, stripping away prejudices and negative feelings. For physical health, sodalite can protect one from electromagnetic pollution when exposed to computers for an extended period. It can reduce the symptoms of menopause in women and provide relief to the throat, vocal cords, and larynx. It may also be used to shed excess weight and relieve insomnia and damage due to radiation. When one works with sodalite, clairvoyant abilities are manifested. One gains deeper understanding of who they are and what they were put on this earth to do. Creativity is also evident, as this is popular among writers and poets. This is also referred to as the Writer's Stone, the Poet's Stone, and the Stone of Creatives. This can also provide deep concentration for study and meditation. Deposits of sodalite were originally discovered in 1811 in Greenland by Europeans. However, it wasn't until 1891 when vast deposits in Ontario, Canada were found, that its value was asserted. The most renowned source is the Princess Sodalite Mine, east of Bancroft, Ontario. Today the stone can be found in countries such as Canada, the USA, Brazil, Bolivia, Portugal, Romania, Burma and Russia. Sodalite is named after its sodium content. It is more plentiful than lapis lazuli, and less expensive, which is why this stone is also nicknamed Poor Man's Lapis. It's also less dense, therefore more easily cracked. So here it is, the wonders of sodalite. If you want hard truths revealed during your meditations, to speak your mind and develop clairvoyance, be sure to carry this wherever you go. An obelisk of this material would be the perfect home security system against negative energies. As I've mentioned, it's widely available and more affordable than lapis. So if you don't yet have one, pick one up at any metaphysical shop today. This is Sean reminding you to keep healing with the magic of crystals. Namaste.